Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking just at our logarithmic regression lines, the 20 week moving average, and just generally updating where Bitcoin is in the current phase of the market cycle. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this, if you're new to the channel, which I know a lot of you are, if you're new, this is our regression band for Bitcoin fit to non-bubble data. And this is our regression band fit to peak, beta, peak data. And so we use these to identify momentum shifts in the market. And in the intermediate range, we would essentially call this no man's land, okay? Where it's, we, you know, the, the price in, in, this, in this region right here is really risky. Uh, and there's not a clear, you know, clear direction in terms of momentum. Uh, but when we're down here, when we're in these in these little areas down here, where we're riding the fair value line, which is a center green line, we we are fairly confident that the momentum shift in the in the near term, and by near term I mean over say maybe one or two years, should generally be up. Okay, when we're up here, we know in the short term the trend will likely be down. In between, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I mean, it, here is a here is an example. In 2013, we came up. We didn't even actually make it to the top, and then we came back down. So if you actually bought at this point, you would have seen a pretty hefty loss uh, during during that retracement. I mean, this was a 75% loss or so. 70. Well, let's actually measure it um, exactly. So if you measure it from if we measure it from the candle, let's be a little bit pragmatic and just measure it from the candle. It's around 60% loss. Uh, as measured from the top of the candle to the bottom. And, and so this is a good example of, you know, thinking that it could go to the top and then it didn't, right? It, it kind of came halfway up, maybe more than halfway up. This is a log scale though, so you can't really just measure it visually. Uh, we came about, the, you know, this far up, we came close to it, but then ultimately we, we retraced back down and then we peaked approximately, let's take a measured move so from the from the top of the candle, we peaked 600% higher, but 33 weeks later. Okay, so that's over half a year later. Even though at the time maybe we, you would have thought we would have continued on up, but we didn't. So we also know it's in similar fashion. We had one of these in in 20, 2011 too, right? We we came up, but ultimately we did not continue on up in the short term. We we came back down and it was a pretty significant retracement. In 2020, in 2019, we had a similar move, right? This one was not as pronounced as the one back over here in 2013, but we did have another one of those bubbles that did not take us to the peak. If we had gone to the peak at the time, it would have likely corresponded to between 30,000 up to $40,000. Okay, that would have been our theoretical top. Now, of course, these are eventually, I mean, these are, imaginary lines at the end of the day, there's nothing necessarily precluding Bitcoin from going above it. We're just trying to use some math and say, well, if it follows this trend, this is where it would be. It's not to say that it can't go above it. It just means that if it is in that region, there's going to likely be a lot of pressure uh, and that it would be a very, very risky buy to get in at that point. But now that we're a couple years, uh, about a year and a half later, the lower bound on this is 50 grand and the upper bound is 75 grand or so. And as we continue marching on through time, these are going to monotonically increase. The fair value of Bitcoin is now over $10,000. So over the last week or two, we know the fair value of Bitcoin, which is measured by the quote unquote non-bubble data, is now over $10,000. Now, we also want to zoom in here a bit and just, you know, provide a almost basically a daily update at this point on on, you know, the 20 week moving average. You can see that our, our bull market support line is all the way down here. And the 21 week EMA is is, is at 12.3 thousand and the 20 week SMA is at 11.9. So that would be our Bitcoin bull market support band. This is what we want to hold as support in the event of a correction. Yes, Bitcoin can keep climbing higher. But we always have to be ready for, for a downturn, and no one can tell you exactly where it's going to peak. Obviously, a lot of people are predicting uh, a local top at 20K, but we also know that it could top at 18K, it could top at 19K, it could also go to 25K potentially before it tops, right? No one really knows. And so we're just going to, to take a step back and, and, and see what happens. 
all right, and, and, and try to follow, follow this move every step of the way because ultimately speaking, we are still a long way away from this upper regression band. I mean, we're not even close. If you take a measured move from where we currently are to the upper regression band, Bitcoin would need to go up another 200% from here. And if it goes up over the next, say, one or two, if it goes up, say, over the next one year, it'll be even higher. If it goes up over the next, say, two or three years, it'll be even higher. So we're only poking our head above this for now. We have not, we, you know, we haven't rallied all the way up here yet. I still think there's a long way to go this market cycle, but we also have to recognize the possibility of short-term bubbles along the way. And, and this, is, this is perfectly normal. We've had, we've had bubbles along the way in the past. Some of them have taken us back into the regression band like the one last year. We've had other bubbles that take us up in, in 2012, and then we came back into the regression band as well. So this is just par for the course. There's nothing really unusual about it. This one did not take us into the regression band. And there is always the possibility of another double peak cycle, right, where we come up high, um, maybe halfway in between, and then we come back down, and then we have another higher high later on. You could argue that we might even have a triple peak cycle if you count this as the first short-term bubble. So it could go, right, one possibility is short-term bubble, short-term bubble that's higher, right? So we have one, two, wherever this one peaks, and then maybe later it'll it'll go to the top. So it could be, right, a, a short-term bubble, a short-term bubble, we're still trending higher, and then eventually a more uh, a more extended bubble that takes us even higher up. So that's a possibility as well. And we've said for years now that short-term bubbles exist and, and you, you should expect these to happen um, every step of the way. Even in a bull market, we will have 20 to 40% corrections. So um, zooming in, Bitcoin is now in its seventh straight week of weekly candles in the green, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven weeks in a row. This has not happened that frequently in the past. I will remind you, if you look at this on a linear scale, and let's remove the regression band, you can see how amazing this move looks, especially compared to prior moves. And we know what happened after prior moves. So again, we expect great things from Bitcoin this market cycle. I fully expect it to go to around six figures, but going up this quickly, is not necessarily the 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 best way to get there okay because it, it can it can be good in the short term because you can take profits along the way right depending on what your risk tolerance is but this this type of move is not sustainable um forever and the question the only question is, is well how high up can we go um and and in my experience bitcoin has a way of of going higher than people expect and you could already you could argue now that it is already higher than people expected. Most people, including me, did not expect it to go to 18k this quickly, right? Not not a lot of people expected it this quickly. Um, but this is a, a pretty substantial move, and and we'll see how high this takes us. But when the correction comes, I don't know when it'll come, but when it does come, remember it's business as usual. I would encourage you not to freak out. This is just par for the course for the market cycle. So buckle up and you know strap in and we'll, um, we'll be here every step of the way. So if you guys like the content and wanna be here uh, as, we, as we navigate this market cycle, remember subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. I will remind you that we are having a Black Friday promotion. If you want access to the premium list where I talk about risk management, taking profits in various assets, trading in and out of momentum shifts between various coins, remember to check out the, the link in the description below, there's a Black Friday discount. It'll go on for about two weeks. So check it out. You'll get access to weekly reports, weekly videos, these um, trading view indicators, a Telegram alerts channel, a risk dashboard, a Telegram chat room, and a DCA selling strategy dashboard. You get access to a whole lot of stuff. I would encourage you to check it out so you can lock in the lower price. You have about two weeks to do so. So that'll wrap it up for the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. If you guys like the content, we'll continue to follow this, this move by Bitcoin. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.